Right, good morning everyone. Now I know you've not heard from me for a few days. I've had a break and uh, but we've been to the cab out this morning so I thought I'll come on and share the things that we've managed to find. Got some really good bargains. But um, I had to have a break. Um, for, I don't know what's happened but I've my finger's gone numb. All that pad, oh, well it's not a pad there but that's the pad. But all of that has gone numb and it's going up into my finger. And then from that thumb bit there, all the way around there is numb and my wrist is feels very weak. So whether it's carpal tunnel or whatever it is they call it, I don't know. Um, I've given my hands a rest and they're not painful at all. Uh, I've just noticed that it was numbness. It started there. So I don't know whether I've got something trapped in that knuckle joint as something I don't know. Uh, they're not as swollen as what they can be. But hey, um, there's something going off and I'm just going to... I've had a good solid week's break and as long as I keep doing that it, and I can get the blood flowing in it, if it continues, I'll uh, go to the doctor's but... I don't know if anybody's got a suggestion what it could be. I, I did look it up, but it's lethal that doing that because there were six things it could have been. <laughs> More likely carpal tunnel for me because I craft a lot and I use my hand an awful lot, don't I? But anyway, that's the reason why I've not been on. And um, I thought, you know, we're going to go the car boot. So the video that I'll do for this week to start off with, um, I'll do it for the things we find at the car boot and then try and craft tomorrow or something like that. So um, we did manage to find some bargains. Now I will be able to tell you the price of some things uh, like these. These are the ones you know where you put the plate in the middle and we've sold these before. Um, and I have to say they are brass and they are three pound. I got them because we sold out last time um, and these are fantastic. You can layer three layers and then managed to get six of those this morning. And I'm selling them for what I paid for them, but I do pick them up for you lot, as you know. So they are three pound each. So if you want any of those, I will, I'll put them on the shop. But if there's anything in particular that you want me to put by, let me know. And if it's still on the shop, when I go to do that after this video, then I will take it from the shop. So, um, I'm just going to get a little box at the side of me. Let me just put those, oops, those there. So, those will be £3. And um, I think they're well worth it. They are brass, like you say. Um, and come on, if you're doing any of the um, acrylic things, you know where you can layer them. Fantastic. But... Uh, They'll be on the shop for that price. And they did sell out fast last time, folks. These, I found a woman selling these little bits and pieces, which I thought were cute because they are... I mean, I, take, I would take that off personally and just use that in a flower. But um, And then you can use that somewhere else to make a flower. But they look um, like she's had them a while. So, like I say... We've got some of those. Um, she also was having these for sale. Now, they're all handmade. You know, and they are nice. I like them, but uh, they're going to go on the shop for sale. And you've got little pearly bits in them as well. These you can twist. And I only got the three. That's all there was. So they'll go on the shop unless somebody wants them. Now, this, my sisters, two of my sisters were at the car boot and they were actually selling. And uh, one of them, I went, oh, you didn't tell me you had those for my miniatures. Look, for the miniature gardens. <laughs> so, and there's like little scrolls. So I thought, um, they'll go nice in the garden. A minute somewhere in a garden. So I nabbed them off my sisters. I'm going to put those separate. 
I did, Raymond spotted these and I have to say, we were two minutes on there when we found them and we went early. And you know how much they are, the beaded appliques, the diamond say, they're absolutely stunning, you can cut them. If you want to, you know, you could have that one somewhere um, and then use those individually or whatever you want to do with them. So uh, if you're interested in any of these, I only have three. If she'd have had more, I would have bought them. And they're going to be up for about £4.50 for those. And they're about £12 to buy, something like that, maybe more. I think the bigger ones are more. Uh, and if you were to go to a wedding shop, you'd be paying £20, £30, £40 pound a piece. So there's three of those if anybody's interested in the £4.50 each. So if you want one or but two or all of them put by, let me know. They're actually vintage. This one's a lot older than this one. And they're just, you know, like stamps that you can do in your... I mean, it, they're absolutely brilliant. Solid made and that's brass. Yeah. Right, so I've got these as well. These are genuine vintage tools. Now, these two are the, what you can, you know, like stamps. So you can stamp into things. This has got something written on it, but I can't see it. This would have been brass, had it, you know, new. Uh, it's an old one, and it's, you know... I'm not sure what date, but and that one's a handmade one. He's made the handle, whoever's done it, for particularly for that. Specifically for that, should I say. So, um, yeah, there's, there is something written on that one. I think it's just the Maker's Mark, it's TY, I think. But, yeah, genuine tools work perfectly. Um, and if anyone's interested in those, then I'm going to be putting those on the shop as well. And then they also had this beautiful, I'm keeping this, beautiful button here with mother of pearl handle. But I keep delicate little things like this. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. With genuine mother of pearl handle. So that's for me. That's going in my son and daughter's collection of things that I keep somewhere for them, which I shall sort out in a jiffy. Now, these, I have to say, I did manage to get a batch of them. They are porcelain. They are gorgeous. Little rosebuds and the rose can be put onto a brooch, a headpiece, a project. So they will be on the shop because I've got, uh, I think, 16 of them. And they're beautiful, gorgeous. So they're going on the shop. Then I found these. Oh, well, I do this one. I found that, so we've got one of those to go up. Ready to alter. And I might start and make some of these come, you know, for Halloween. Make it as a kit. So that you can just buy it as a kit and put it together yourself. Um, then we've got these. Now, stunning. Mother of Pearl. Absolutely beautiful. And it is a vintage brooch. The colours in that is fantastic. Beautiful brooch there. That's a porcelain one. Then we've got the Diamante one. Uh, 
Uh, another Mother of Pearl, vintage one. And this is rosy, uh, flowers all the way around. And then that one, beautiful. And the last one is the Cameo. So, and these are all enamelled with diamantes. So, you've got those. Now, yeah, they'll be going up on the shop. But I say, if you want them put by, send me an email via the shop. And then we've got these ready for Christmas. Um, they slay uh, to alter. And I've only got six of them, I think. But they're going on the shop. Um, my other sister, my eldest sister, was selling buttons. And uh, these buttons were... And I went, oh, I'll have them. So I nabbed them. I paid her for them. But they're uh, like little animal buttons. They're really, really cute. But there's lots of them. So that's those. Then I found uh, these. So, you know, I had to pay that for it. But the wooden tags and they've got the strings. So that's exactly what it'll go on. You know, I, you just have to grab what you can. I then found this scarf. Now, this is great for cutting up and whatnot. See? Cutting up, use it in your projects, use, you know, make, do, um, it's got tassels on it as well. Make a, um, oh, what do they call it? Like a wall hanging or something. I made a small cushion out of one once. You know, I did, cut it up and added it to the cushion I was uh, making. So there's that anyway. Like I said, it'll all be on the shop. These, oh, I couldn't resist. They, they're new. They haven't even got the label off. They're absolutely beautiful. Wooden, but you can add onto them, if you know what I mean. You could turn them into something and alter them. And they're about 12 inches tall. Absolutely gorgeous. I like them as they are. There's that one. And then this one, which is stunning. But if you wanted to add on and make a, a dress form. Now, if you remember, I made that one. Um, I'll link it up if I can remember. You know, the one I did with a paper skirt with? And I used the layer after layer after layer. It was on one of something like this. And they're absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, they're for sale. Brand new. Oops. It hasn't damaged. It just fell on the floor. <laughs> then I found these. Um... They're gorgeous. Look at those. Foam roses just gorgeous so they're going to go up for sale um and they were 150 each so that's all i charge this is the stuff i show you here is what i pay and you pay what i pay or the odd thing might have a 50p attached to it
but that's it. Now, I found these as well. So, they're uh, like little, well, you could use them for your plants if you wanted to. Now, we've got loads of them. You know, to put a plant on, they'd look nice, wouldn't they? Or, if you're anything like me, yeah, and you have to do something with them, you know, you can start and make things with them. Whatever you want to do. Cut the middles out, use them as a frame on a, a project. Whatever you wanted to do with them. But they are gorgeous. And they're all the same. So if you wanted to buy a set for your table, they're great. So they'll be on the shop shortly. And the last thing is I'm doing a miniature garage. But it's going to be a dilapidated thing, you know. Um, and so we went looking for cars. And I managed to find some. The thing is, I've come away with two different sorts of cars. I have some vintage cars. And normal cars. So I might just do two different sorts. So, let's just have a look. I don't want the trains, so that I don't need the trains. But if anybody wants trains, there's some trains there. They'll go on the shop anyway. Um, I don't want the plane either. <laughs> There's another vintage one. But it is a vintage one that I'm doing. You know, like a dilapidated. There's another train I don't want. Maybe. So, yeah, um, I was just lucky and fortunate to come across them. And the woman sold them as a job lot. There's another train I don't want. Let's just see if there's any more. No, no more vintage. Vintage, no. So, I'm doing a garage of vintage cars. But they, they need to be broken apart and wheels taken from them and dirtied up a little bit you know and things broken from them walkers crisps bloody hell but do you see what i mean like and the sign boots <laughs> Oh, they've got, like, tanks in them. I need to be able to get the tanks out. Take some wheels off. Oh, there's two of them. I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got to have done lot tyres, bloody hell. Golden shred marmalade. Yeah, Sutton Seeds, more Walker's Crisps, Walker's did a lot didn't they, Shell, Osram Lamps, but yeah, so I, I need to like take them apart, batter them up a little bit and see what's what, <coughs> so that's those, Um, because I don't often do things for boys or men, but I just thought, you know what, I'm going to do one. And then these were for the garage I'm going to do, which is, well, they're too big. I need to keep them all the same size. All different vehicles for the garage. Look, even that. Yes, my lady. <laughs> Penelope, wasn't she? Lady Penelope. Yeah. Oh, police van. Let's 
There's quite a few here that I can use. Oh, for one of those uh, Ameri... Oh, there's two there. Oh, that's all right. We can put them in. That's not what I'm after. Let's have a look. So there's plenty here to do the garage. That's already battered, look. So I don't need to do that. But yeah. Sports one, even an engine. Oh, and it comes with one of them as well. So that'll come in handy somewhere on the forecourt, isn't it? Oh, I could put a train thing in. Somebody's brought one in to have it fixed. And the fire truck. Yeah. So, I'm fine with that. And I was so fortunate to grab it all. But that's what I'm going to be working on. So, right now, folks... Uh, I'm going to pop all these away. I did get another car the other day, but I'll have to pop it in here. Oh, and I found this as well. So, you know, I've used this, uh, the darning thing. And I use this when I'm doing clay plates and things like that, which I should have cleaned off. Um, I found that one this morning, a bigger one. So I'm going to keep that because that'll do the dinner plate and that'll do the side plate. And I do my baskets on there as well. So yeah, you know you don't see you don't see them for months, and then all of a sudden you just start seeing them everywhere. But hey, like I say, um, that's going to be for the miniatures. Now, which I'm going to build the whole set for them. These, in regards to these. If anybody, I don't want anything for them, you just pay the shipping. So if you've got a little boy or a grandson that would like these, they are the old ones, but, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want anything for them. If you got somebody who might like them, let me know. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you all soon. And my best bargain, that beautiful button here vintage. Take care. Bye-bye for now.